sentencing today in a court case that some say illustrates one of the challenges in Iowa's strict marijuana laws. Bottom line, terminal cancer patient Benton McKenzie is not in prison tonight. I'm blown away. I'm totally overwhelmed. With stage four angiocarcinoma, Benton McKenzie knows he's going to die, but he doesn't want to behind bars. Simply, he says, for growing medicine to treat his illness. It's a feeling shared by many. About a dozen or so protesters gathered just blocks from the Scott County Courthouse to back the McKenzie family and show their disdain for Iowa's marijuana laws. We're outraged by this, that, that, that this is something that should be changed. He has done something that he can go five minutes across the bridge and be perfectly legal in taking care of his illness. Two months ago, a jury convicted McKenzie and his wife of manufacturing marijuana. Pot McKenzie says he was using to produce cannabis oil to keep his cancer at bay, and it was working. Even before the verdict and today's sentencing, the judicial system allowed McKenzie to travel to Oregon to get treatment legally. Why does the government have a problem with people getting high? That seemed to matter today. The judge, citing the McKenzie's personal and medical situation along with pre-sentencing recommendations, showed leniency. Fortunately for you, the legislature has not taken away my discretion. Suspended prison terms and sentenced Benton and Loretta McKenzie to three years probation. I'm at the verge of tears now. It just blows me away. I'm grateful for all the support, especially in the, in the light of what I've been going through the last few days. If he's going to go out of this world, I don't want it to be in misery, and I think that the best way to, to go is in Oregon. Oregon is where the McKenzie's ultimately want to be, but want Iowa to open up to broadening the use of medical marijuana here. Even if the plant needs to be regulated, in their minds, it should be done by somebody who knows the facts and who knows what they're talking about, somebody who's dealt with it. The McKenzies are free on bond tonight.